Disaster Management Agency in Vietnam has confirmed that over 127 people were killed in a massive gust of wind, landslides, heavy rain and floods caused by Typhoon Yagi that started on Saturday, three years after similar disaster occurred in the Asian country. A vehicle dashboard camera footage shows the exact moment the 30-year-old Phan Chao Bridge crumbled into the Red River in the northern province of Fudo on Monday after Typhoon Yagi erupted in Vietnam. Terrifying footage also showed a massive landslide in Lok Yen in Yen Bi province in Vietnam. NC4, an independent global crisis reporting body had on Monday reported that the Typhoon Yagi has dissipated into a Tropical depression after making landfall over northern Vietnam, adding, at least 20 people have been killed, 195 others have been injured, and 6 people were missing. Accordingly, the agency said a landslide that occurred near Tao Hong then too has resulted in 6 deaths and 17 injuries. At least 17 people have been buried. At least 58 of the total injuries are from Quang Ninh province, and 20 are from Haiphong. An estimated 3,279 residential structures have sustained damage. Approximately 53,000 people in the coastal provinces of Quang Ninh, Haiphong, Tai Binh, Nam Dinh, and Ninh Binh have been evacuated. One ship is missing, and 14 others were sunk. The Dinh Vu port in Vietnam has also been shot. Authorities ordered the suspension of operations at four airports on Saturday, September 7, in anticipation of adverse weather conditions from Typhoon Yagi, including Van Don International Airport, IATA, VDO, Katbai International Airport, IATA, HPH, Noi by International Airport, IATA, Han and Doshwen Airport Atta. THD. Updates indicate all of the affected. Airports have resumed operations. Expect associated disruptions, the agency stated on Monday. Al Jazeera also on Monday reported that at least 24 people have been killed and 299 injured in Vietnam amid landslides and floods triggered by Typhoon Yagi. According to the Qatar based news network, the typhoon was Asia's most powerful storm this year and made landfall on Vietnam's northeastern coast on Saturday, after causing havoc in China and the Philippines. Among the victims were six people, including a newborn baby and a one-year-old boy, who were killed in a landslide in the Hoang Nguyen Son Mountains of northwestern Vietnam. Their bodies were discovered on Sunday, a local official told the AFP news agency. Other victims included a family of four who were killed after heavy rain caused a hillside to collapse onto a house in Montenos Hoa Binh province in northern Vietnam, state media reported. The Vietnamese government said the storm disrupted power supplies and telecommunications in several parts of the country, mostly in Quang Ninh and Haiphong in the northeast. Floods and landslides are damaging the environment and threatening people's lives. The National Center for Hydrometeorological Forecasting said in a report, Yagi weakened to a tropical depression on Sunday, but several areas of the port city of Haiphong were under half a meter, 1.6 feet of water and there was no electricity. At Halong Bay, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, about 70 kilometers, 43 miles, of the coast from the city, the Disaster Management Authority said 30 vessels sank after being pounded by strong wind and waves. The typhoon also damaged nearly 3,300 houses and more than 120,000 hectares, 296,500 acres of crops in the north of the country, the authority said. Before arriving in Vietnam, Yagi tore through southern China and the Philippines killing at least 24 people and injuring dozens of others. Typhoons in the region are now forming closer to the coast, intensifying more rapidly, and staying over land for longer due to climate change, according to a study published in July, the news network stated. Reuters news agency reported on Tuesday that the 
Death toll in Vietnam from Asia's worst storm this year reached 127 on Tuesday, with torrents of rain triggering floods and landslides, burying homes, sweeping away a bridge and now threatening the capital Hanoi. In several northern provinces, including the suburbs of Hanoi, residents waded through knee-high floods. Brown water cascaded down pedestrian steps. Landslides and floods triggered by the typhoon have killed at least 127 people in northern Vietnam and 54 others were missing, the Disaster Management Agency said on Tuesday in its latest update on the situation. We are praying for the thousands of Americans under mandatory evacuations under orders out west. Most of the victims were killed in landslides and flash floods, the agency said adding that 764 people have been injured. The typhoon made landfall on Saturday on Vietnam's northeastern coast, devastating a swath of industrial and residential areas and bringing heavy rain that caused floods and landslides. Several rivers in northern Vietnam have risen to alarming levels, leaving villages and residential areas inundated, according to the disaster agency and state media. Authorities across the north on Tuesday subsequently banned or limited traffic on other bridges across the river, including Chuang Duong Bridge, one of the largest in Hanoi, according to state media reports. Water levels on the Red River are rising rapidly, the government said on Tuesday in a post on its Facebook account. Using loudspeakers that broadcast communist propaganda in the past, Officials warned residents of the capital's riverside Long Bian district to be on alert for possible flooding and to be ready to evacuate the area. Other northern areas, including the industrial hubs of Bak Jan and Tai Wuyen, were also facing severe flooding, state media reported. It was not immediately clear if Samsung Electronics and Apple supplier Foxconn, based in Tai Wuyen and Bak Jan, respectively, were affected. Evacuations were also taking place from flood-prone areas in Bakjan province, the government said, where the typhoon and floods have caused damage estimated for now to be worth $300 billion, $12.1 million. More than 4,600 soldiers have been deployed in the province to support the evacuation and support flood victims. Vietnam's foreign ministry asked China to notify it ahead of any release of dam water upstream. Lao Cai province has reported the highest casualties, with 19 people killed and 36 missing, mostly in landslides, according to the Disaster Management Agency. The government has yet not provided estimates of the cost of the damage caused by the typhoon, but residents in the coastal cities of Haiphon and Quan Ninh, where the storm first hit Vietnam, said they lost everything. Floods have also inundated 162,828 hectares and 29,543 hectares of cash crops and damaged nearly 50,000 houses in northern Vietnam, according to the agency as reported by Reuters International News Agency. Sasuwa Kong Nedo, bringing you the news in a more digital way.